A Picasso, a Monet, and a Van Gogh. A collection at the Fort Wayne Museum of Art has all three on display right now, along with several others. But just how the museum was able to get all this work is something of a surprise. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us with more on this unique collection of paintings. Randy? Yeah, Mark, this collection of work consists of more than 200 pieces. About 50 of those paintings are on display right now in Fort Wayne. The owner of it all, Peru High School. Unbelievable that, that a museum quality uh, exhibit like this and many more things like this belong to a high school. G. David Thompson graduated from Peru High School back in 1913. From there, he became a businessman, starting his own investment company and heading four steel companies. His hobby? Collecting art. So he started to buy and buy. A lot of people wouldn't work with him. He, he got mad about that and thought, well, you know what? If they don't want to work with me, I'm going to send some work back to Peru High School because I like my teachers there. I like going to school there. So, hence, that's how this mysterious collection came to be formed. The Miami High School has more than 200 pieces. Some of the standout work includes a Picasso and a rare portrait of the famous painter. Dali did so few traditional things, and only one that has ever been known to be of Picasso. So this piece becomes a very, very rare piece. Some paintings here you'll probably never see again. Other pieces, we're told, the art capital of the world would love to get its hands on. The only thing is, they won't be here forever. On February 24th, they get boxed back up and sent over to Peru. We all fall prey to the idea that the only place you would get something like this is, uh, you know, in New York or in Boston or in San Francisco or something. Great collections are everywhere, and they're not geographically bound. Now, it is a bit of a surprise to find them in a high school, but still, we celebrate the fact that, yeah, Indiana has a great collection, and Peru High School is its home. There are lectures at the museum where you can learn more about this collection. Part of the reason it's on display, the school's building a gallery to house the collection, giving it a proper home for people to see. Mark, back to you.